Today's match at the Melbourne Cricket Ground saw Richmond attempt to get back on the winning list at the expense of Essendon. Not an easy task, looking at the Tigers' inconsistency in their four matches played to date. Encouraging wins over North and Fitzroy gave supporters some hope, but that indeed was dashed last Saturday when they couldn't put uh, four good quarters together against Carlton. Essendon, on the other hand, have almost a clean sheet, apart from their six-point loss to reigning Premiers Hawthorne in the second round, a game in which they too failed to play out four good quarters. The match, too, saw young bomber veteran Timmy Watson line up for his 150th game, and it was before, 55,141 people. We begin our coverage tonight at the nine-minute mark of the third quarter. Our commentators are Triple Brownlow medalist Bob Skilton and Sandy Roberts. Weston and Roach down in the square. I think Roach will have to go back into the square. Pickering is there also. They're not too sure what to do. So eventually the ball is centred. Roach. Bob Skilden breaks a pin. I don't know whether it's discussed. Nevertheless, Baker gives it to Elshaw, who goes to Ezard at centre wing. What's wrong, Robert? Merritt. Caught. But look at that. Time to fall over. Just about knit a jumper and get up and kick the football. Not enough pressure. Carey, caught. Beautiful tackle, Morris. Richmond in possession, so play on is the call. As Aeneer comes streaming away, puts the ball over the centre. Now, where's Pickering now? Up on that half-forward line. Landy. Jess is calling for it in the square. He's alone. And Jesse is mad. Well, <laughs> you can't blame him. Have a look at him. It speaks for itself, Sandy. Come Unbelievable. On. All it needed was one look at a blind kick straight over the boundary line, trying to kick a goal. Lee oh. foolishly taps the ball back into play. And Baker it is. We've got the ball out now. Carey puts the ball forward. Bahaja taking the mark. Tony Bahaja goes for the short pass. Salmon on his own. So Salmon only 30 metres out. A fairly acute angle because he'll be brought right around. the distance he goes for the short pass and loose checking by Richmond at the other end of the ground Bob I'm watching Jim Jess and he is still shaking his head in total disbelief I can understand that unbelievable Hawker records his first goal and the Bombers open up again to that 12 10 10 7 break 67 plays 82 on sevens big league and glenn hawker taking full advantage of the looseness of the checking by richmond hawker coming right down from the wing so philip walsh may get a message center bounce Lee wins out. Bradby, though, comes on the scene. Way out in front of Landy. Bradby's long kick. Oh, pushing the back. Should go against Salmon. <laughs> oh, how did Kevin Smith miss that one? Well, I suppose... Oh, I don't know. It's just been shown on replay here at the MCG and the crowd's gone berserk. Everyone saw it except Kevin Smith. And listen to the jeers. But I suppose everyone is entitled to a bad day. So Salmon kicks Kevin Smith's first and Paul Salmon's third. 